be at Central or Cathedral Prep, excuse me, starting the second half. Hazleton leads it 14 to 13. Good news, bad news. Chet, uh, Hassan Adula hasn't scored for Hazleton area, but they have the lead. I think they got to get a little more involved in the offense, obviously, in the second half. But I think it's important for Erie to come out strong and score. I think if Hazleton gets the lead on Erie and spread them out in the fourth quarter, it's definitely to their advantage, Hazleton's advantage. But I think Erie's got to show something here in the third quarter. There's Cliff Dennett, strong move to the hole, called for a charge. That is Dennett's second foul. Nice job by Hassan here getting the advantage on this play in the position. So here comes Terry Kringy and D'Acostino trying to break the pressure. There's Hassan from 15. No good. Paul Shershin battling underneath but getting called for a foul. A little over the back here. Getting the body on Cliff Dennett. So right now, Hazleton area going with a full court man to man. Long matched up with Gene Tomzak. Jed Ryan, who had 21 in the Western Championship, has been a big factor here in this game. One point so far. There's Dennett, a drive, another strong move by Cliff Dennett. Dennett showing why he was fresh leading score this year. The Ramblers have a one-point lead, 15-14. 6.50 to play in the third quarter. Knocked away. Hazel Tenario retains possession. Prep coming out, Jet, and applying the pressure. Maybe they'll tempo the game a little bit, try to create some offense with their defense. Because they haven't been getting too many easy scores on the set offense. Marcel Araby looking on, and there's Hassan Abdullah, the jumper from 10, can't get it to go. Kringy, the D'Acostino, no good. Chris Long is in the trees and puts it in for two. Number four, quick feet, quick feet, quick hands, that's how he got inside. I don't know how he does that, isn't that? Chris with eight points and now leading the uh, Hazleton area Cougars with five rebounds. Dennett inside, and we have a push-off on Dennett, his third foul. Uh-oh. And that's good news for Hazleton. And oh. the foul is on number 43, Cliff Dennett. That is his third personal. Dennett goes second. to the bench to get a drink. And Matt Bennett comes in. So just like in the Western final, Dennett getting into foul trouble. Pushing off Over. on Paul Churchin. Should say pushing off Paul Churchin. Chris Long down the lane. Loses control, but there's a reason for that. Foul call. Chris going down hard and getting up with a little grimace. Fouls on number 41, Booker Coleman. That is his There's Chris really skying Booker Coleman not having position or leaving his feet. Getting the blocking foul call. And they're not calling that a wow. shooting foul. We've seen that a few times. Chris along short is shot. D'Acostino fights for it and over and back. Boy, oh boy, the Hazleton area fans have reason to be upset. Yeah, a couple of if Chris Long there. wasn't in the act of shooting, I mean, he was up in the air. Well. Hazleton area with a one-point lead, 16-15. Turnovers, Hazleton also leading in that category, 6-4. Kenny Duck pulls up, no good. Terry Kringy. And Matt Bennett battled for it. Last touch by Bennett. Maybe a return call by the referee. <laughs> you wonder about that sometimes. A little easy come, easy go. Hazel Canary nice. breaking the press. Churchin saving it. Kukringi also saving it. But not that time. Bennett comes down with it. And here comes Duck. Gene Tomzak. For a moment had a thought of shooting it. Jed Ryan spinning in the lane and putting one up. Strong, but no good. Solid rebound by Hassan Abdullah. Very Cripp starting to look a little more aggressive on offense this half. The way these teams are going, the score, winning score, could be uh, about 30 points. 
Uh, while Erie Prep has gotten more aggressive on offense, Hazel Canary has been able to answer the call pretty much. They're holding them off. They'll lead. Nice field by Kenny Duck. Springy in pursuit, knocks it away, but call for a foul. Don't let him get the easy two. Yeah, he's looking behind him for the defense all the way. He's going down with the dribble. He's going to put his head down, taking him right to the hole. Second, Second personal on Terry Kringen. You're right. Look, look for the defensive man all the way down. Go for the basket. Kringen getting ball and then getting the arm. Number 21, Kenny Duck. Shooting two. Well, Kenny Duck, uh, Prep's point guard, does most of his shooting from the foul line. I think he's taken maybe two shots the whole game. First one is up, and no good. And the Hazel Canaria fans making a rumble in this place to try to distract him. He yeah, the, second. the pack on both ends of this arena. They're not limited to one area. Boy, the Hazel Canaria contingent out in force tonight. So here comes Hazel Canaria breaking the press. That's long. Pulling it back out. And Don Castino and Kringy back and forth. Game tied at 16. Good number. Foul called inside. Looks like on Booker Coleman. Foul is on number 32, Jed Ryan of the Ramblers. Check that, Jed Ryan. Team fourth and a half. Cougar. Cook inbound. NCAA game tonight. Michigan leading Kentucky 40-35 at the half. Final four and 4A final here, boy. Hazel Tenaria. And that's Chris Long yeah. for three. Yeah. Nice double screen. They got a screen for Long down in the box, and then they got another one on the wing. And look at the block by Hassan Abdullah. Goaltending. They're going to call it goaltending. And do they call it a foul or just goaltending? All right, it's just goaltending on Hassan. Look at Booker Coleman and Hassan Sky. Goaltending, the basket is good. Abdullah way up there, but the ball coming down. And just like that, in a flash, this place gets noisy. 19-18, Hazel Canaria. They, uh, they're just waiting to explode. We said that in the first half. Offensively, it seems quiet. Abdullah nearly losing it. Fringy out front. Now Chris Long. Maybe Chris feels hot. He pulls up from the foul line. 15-footer, no good. And Pat Marnella comes down with it. And Hassan standing in the paint saying, come on, come on, give me the ball, give me the ball. He wants, he wants to go one-on-one -on -one here. Marnella looks inside, pulls up from the foul line, can't get it to go. Chris Long with another rebound. He's amazing. John D'Acostino for three, that's way short. Marnella with another rebound. Well, the little guys cleaning up underneath. Marnella for prep, Chris Long for Hazel Canary. Back in the matchup again, maybe trying to slow Erie down a little bit. Got Ryan 25 feet from the basket. Hazel Canary in 19 to 18, three minutes left in the third quarter. Live state championship basketball here on NEP. That's Matt Bennett. Long, Churchin battle, Fringy battle. Knocked away by Jed Ryan. The officials making the call, giving it to Hazel Canary. Guys, I'm watching Abdullah and Coleman in there in now, the paint battling, and they changed the call. The officials, both officials, signaled first Hazel Canary, but now they have reversed the decision. They're talking, they're talking trash to each other down there in the paint while they're pushing and shoving on each other, trying to get position. It's a great battle. Both will know they played this game after it's over, believe me. Prep working it, cross court to Ryan. He pulls up from 18, doesn't get it. And Booker Coleman comes down with the big rebound. And the foul, I believe, on Hassan Abdullah. That is Hassan's 
third personal foul as Bruce Live just sits back. And here it is. Maybe Booker got away with one pushing off there. Substitution number three. Maybe. Maybe. I'm being kind, I guess. So Mike Kutchmar comes back in. Hassan Abdullah takes a seat, his third personal. 227 left to play in the third. Not what Hazleton area fans want to see. Hassan on the bench. Booker Coleman ties the score at 19. We've been back and forth most of this game. Booker to give Prep the lead. 20 to 19. Erie Cathedral oh, Prep with a one point lead. 227 left to play in the third. Whoa. Welcome back. Live action. That's Kenny Duff with the steal. Duck nice and hustle. broken up by John Dock. Nice hustle for Hazel to get back and break up. Definite layup. Definite two points there. Nice Little hustle things by John like that in yeah. your ball games. All that up. Two points they don't have. Right now, Prep has a one point lead, 20 to 19. 2 16 left to play in the third. Something about Hazel defensively, they never give up on a play. You beat one guy, you got to face another guy. That's Matt Bennett with the ball. Back cross court to Duck. Well, they're really content to hold the ball out front here. Jed Ryan, the six foot six sophomore, out front, number 32. Nope. Pat Marnella for three, short. They say Marnella stepped on the line, Hazleton ball. And Ryan noticeably quiet in this game for. Erie, as opposed to uh, when they played in the Eastern, or the, rather the Western final. He's been silenced by Hazleton area's defense. So have many other people. Chris Long, Terry Kringy with the ball out front for Hazleton. We're going back to a little 1 3 1 zone. No traps yet. Here they come. No. Hazleton Abdul on the bench. I guess is content to just sit on the ball until he gets back in. Long and Kringy playing catch. Chris looks. Now back to his right. Fifty-nine seconds left to go in the third. Hazel area breaking the timeline or getting the ball loose before five seconds and then just holding. Now here comes Prep. Gringy guarded by Duck. Long gets by Duck. Gets in the paint. Puts it up. No good. Booker Coleman might have deflected that. Here comes Jed Ryan. Jed spins. Off the glass. Bucket and a foul. Big three-point play for Erie Cathedral Prep. The sophomore showing his wares on that play. At six foot six, look at the move. Nice spin move for a six six guy. Nice spin move to the basket. Put the defense. Right in between the two of them. Strong kid. Third personal foul on Paul Shershin. Twenty-two to nineteen. Ryan makes it 23 to 19. So Erie Cathedral Prep with its biggest lead of the game at four points. 29 seconds left to play. Players in and out here for Hazleton. What a foul. Chris Long trying to bring it up, harassed by Matt Bennett. Foul number 20, Pat Marnella of the Ramblers. That is his third personal. Team fifth. Well, Marnella getting Cougar called, and that's his third personal. Kind of foul you hate to see as a coach, one in the backcourt. The offense really isn't going anywhere. So Hazleton needing a bucket before the end of this quarter. Nacostino looks. That's Chris Long. He makes a move. 